I actually decided in the middle of Wimbledon to leave um, to a trip, a spiritual trip to Ecuador. Yeah, I left literally within two days. I decided, you know what, I just need to go. So we, uh, you know, Novak and I sat down for a couple hour interview. The only topic that made him uncomfortable in the entire interview was when I asked him uh, more kids. Uh, and he's, he's, you know, face gets a little red. He's like, you're going to get me in trouble. Uh, and I'm like, all right, well, how about this one? Uh, do you or Elena uh, want to have uh, more kids? Who's pushing for it? He's like, oh, me, 100%. Uh, care to elaborate? Well, I've raised these two kids pretty much um, with full power. And honestly, I grew up in a family of two. I have two hands. I feel like I have... Uh, devoted myself and I want to still keep on giving them the balance to me. And you have him as well. <laughs> and I have him as a baby as well that likes a lot of attention. So I am, I am hands full. I don't think I need more. But I understand him. He missed out a lot, you know, and uh, he would want probably when he finishes the career to kind of have another go, um, another take in the young kids. Um, but, you know, I, I, I don't I don't want to say no to the life. I'm just saying no as my choice. And then we'll see what happens. How has having kids changed your guys' lives? Dramatically. It changed me a lot. Um, I was really focused on him and his career and his needs a lot. And um, it kind of becomes a bit frustrating when you realize that your needs are unmet because I haven't been paying attention to what I really need. And then... Um, then somehow naturally um, I couldn't anymore direct my frustration towards him thinking it's his fault because it's not his fault it was my choice and all of a sudden I've become a mom and um, I really love what he did to me Stefan I think he shook my core completely and made me realize that I really need to take care of myself and how so well because in order for me to be a good mom, I have to really be good with myself. Um, you know how they say that the children should stand on the shoulders of their parents? Well, I felt like, whoa, how do I raise a kid that is going to exceed his father, that is constantly improving and constantly growing in his results? And how am I gonna, you know, he's a historical figure already, you know, and at the age of 30, and I have this kid and I have to do something special. And that's how I started thinking. And that made me really um, anxious as a mom. I feel like it destroyed me of, and the vision of who I am. I thought I was a superwoman. I can do everything. I can meet my husband's expectations. I can meet my kids' expectations. And luckily, all of that happened to me so that I could actually wake up one day and say, you know what, this is enough. Let me think what I, let me see what I need and then I can give. I actually decided in the middle of Wimbledon to leave um, to a trip, a spiritual trip to Ecuador and, uh, and that was a beautiful thing for me and very important. Just by yourself? Yeah, I left literally within two days I decided, you know what, I just need to go. Because we had the, um, he won Roland Garros and then he was like, okay, I'm on the move, I have to, you know, win. And I actually, I, I gave myself so much for every of those tournaments. I feel like after, every time after Roland Garros, I'm done, I'm spent and yeah. I need a break. I was like, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go. And he was like, you know what, I, I get it because he's always so supportive. And he was like, you know, I'm so happy that you wanna go and do something for yourself, you deserve it. And he was always like that. Unfortunately, he did lose when I left. So there was always this kind of conversation in our, uh, <laughs> he was like, um, I'm not sure you should leave in the middle of the tournament, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting because yesterday I was talking to him about this slump that he went in uh, starting in, you know, 2016, where, you know, the, the plays declining, then he has surgery, then he takes time off. And he was very open about how that actually coincided with when you guys were having challenges in your marriage. He's like, look, I, it actually made us a lot stronger. Always. And I, I'm so glad that we went through that as a couple. Like how similar was that for you? Um, every, every obstacle we meet uh, together is always making us stronger, definitely. Um, and we are a very passionate couple, so um, we do, collide a lot with thinking and with doing. 
um, in some of, uh, and at the moment I have this motherly me present all the time, which is slowing him down on some of his decisions. He wants to fly, he wants to go high, he wants to do things. And I go like, you know what? But we do have a two kids that we decided to have together to, you know, now, and we gotta, you know, readjust our choices. When the two of you were going through challenges in your relationship, what did it teach you about yourself? One thing is for sure, is that I found peace within rather than looking for it outside. And I've also realized I want to live this life with a purpose, meaning I don't want to be a victim of life, like be, um, oh, I'm doing this because I have to, or because he said so, or because he, he's doing this, now I have to do this as well, I don't have a choice and things like that. I realized I do have a choice, I am not a victim of life, and I want to live it full on. So all of my choices that I'm making are for my body to have energy to live this life with, you know, purpose. What did it teach you about Novak? That he's already there, that everything that he's doing, it's kind of um, exactly what I've learned about myself because he really is good at taking care of himself. He's really good at that. Um, and I thought at the moment that that's very selfish, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's what everybody should be doing. Uh, so they can show up with the energy and with love and with this giving attitude. And he's always this caring person and, you know, loving person. And I guess that's why he has kids, so they can learn him, teach him patience as well. Um, because they need time for everything and he doesn't have time. And so it's a, it's a good balance that they bring to him. How about the... the hardest time in the relationship for the two of you and how you guys got through it. I think this is going to be brave to say um, to millions of people watching, but I was trying to compete with him because I felt like I'm also deserving and I'm not getting enough um, credit for what I'm doing because I'm doing it more in the backstage. My ego was there battling also an uh, internal battle because I always felt like I can express so much more, but I have to do it quietly and uh, basically as a woman you're not allowed to speak up a lot, you're not allowed to show up a lot and um, there is this stereotype about who is the wife of an athlete, how she should look like, how she should behave and I don't fit very well into that stereotype um, and I'm glad I don't because I don't need to but it, sure. it was hard because I was judged because of it. I was trying to conform at first because I was meant to be interested in fashion, I was meant to be interested in looks and you know um, different kinds of things but and and that's all fun but it just doesn't inspire me so I had to invent my place and that was a competition like I'm gonna prove you know um, I'm gonna prove something that we can be at other things than just a girlfriend or just a wife and always I am the wife but now I'm proudly wearing that title rather than feeling like, oh, here we go, the wife. Okay, let me sit and smile, you know? Yeah. So it, it's a great transformation for me.